In this video, we will discuss R Markdown, an authoring format for data science. If you haven't yet performed the exercise on R Markdown, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, I'll take a moment and walk you through the introduction to R Markdown. Let's walk through this first R Markdown exercise together. This is an R Markdown file. It contains plain text interspersed with gray chunks of code. You can use the file to take notes and run code. For example, you can write your name on the line below. Let's try it. I'll write my name here. You can write code in code chunks that look like this. This chunk uses the code plot simple chromosome to plot a data set. To run the code, click the green play button at the corner of the top chunk. We can do that together. You can see that we load a library and then we plot something called simple chromosome. Nice job. The results of a code chunk will appear beneath the chunk you can click the X above to make the results go away, but don't do that quite yet. You can open a new R Markdown file by going to File, New File, and then R Markdown, and then click OK. But let's not open a new file yet, just keep reading this one. Adding Chunks. To add a new code chunk, press Command Option I or Control Alt I in Windows, or click the Insert button at the top of this document and then select R. Our Markdown will add a new empty code chunk at your cursor's location. Try inserting a code chunk below. So if we come here, we go here, here, this adds a new code chunk. Now make a code chunk using the keyboard shortcut. Trust me, it's worth learning the shortcuts. Good job. For today, you should place all of your R code inside of code chunks. Sometimes you might want to only run some of the code in a code chunk. To do that, highlight the code to run and then press Command Enter or Control Enter on Windows. If you do not highlight any code, R will try to run the line of code that your cursor is on. Try it below by running mean 1 through 5, but not the line below it. So if we do that, we should go like this. And that runs that. So I hit Command Enter here. I can highlight it and hit Command Enter also. But we don't want to run this line. You can click the downward facing arrow to the left of the play button and run every code chunk above the current code chunk. This is useful if the code chunk uses some objects that you made in previous chunks. So for example, if we click the downward button here, you can see that this is going to run all code chunks above. You can click here, and sure enough, it runs everything that we get to this point. Did you notice the differently colored lines when reading the code chunk above? They are code comments, lines of text that R ignores when it runs the code. R will treat everything that appears after the number sign on the line as a code comment. As a result, if you run the code chunk above, nothing will happen. It's all comments, and that's fine, see? By the way, you only need to use code comments inside of code chunks. R knows not to try to run the text that you run outside of code chunks. I put this comment here to remind me to tell you about comments in your code. Was it successful? Did I remember that this comment was for? You can use comments in your code chunks to remind you what you did or why you did it. This comment is often useful for a future version of myself. So I'm reminding myself that I thought that this was a lame example. I'm also reminding myself that this is a better example, but R doesn't like Euler's formula here. Text formatting. Have you noticed the funny highlighting that appears in this document? R Markdown treats text surrounded by asterisks and double asterisks and back ticks in special ways. Is R Markdown's way of saying that these words are in italics? also italics, bold, and code font. In italics, double italics, and slash are signals used by text editing format known as Markdown. R uses Markdown to turn your text RMD documents into polished reports. Let's give that a try. And don't worry, we're going to go more into this in another lecture, but it's important to get your first sense of R Markdown at this point in time. When you click the Knit button at the top of the R Markdown file like this one, R Markdown generates a polished copy of a report. Briefly, R Markdown transforms all of the Markdown cues into actual formatted text. It reruns all of your code chunks in a clean R session and appends the results to the finished report and saves the finished report alongside your RMD file. We can click the Knit button at the top of this document to render the finished report. So we can try clicking Knit now. So you can see down here that it's trying to knit the document and here we have our whole document. So you can see when we were talking about our different text formatting. Here's our text formatting, and this is the part that we just read. And remember, we just hit this knit button to do that. Take a moment to compare the knitted document to your raw code. 
what did he find that was similar and what was different? Did he see the places where Markdown was rendered in a code into formatting? As I mentioned, you'll learn more about R Markdown in later classes, and all of your coding and assignments will take place in R Markdown documents. There's one last code chunk that we use for the next exercise. If you uncomment the code and try to run it, it won't work. So we can go like this. If you don't believe me, try it. Let's figure out after uncommenting code why it doesn't run. So if we do this, we'll get this error. Could not find the function ggplot. That's going to be a clue about why it doesn't work. And we're going to explore why it doesn't work in the next exercise. So to review, our markdown is a document that integrates both text and what we call code chunks. These code chunks have specific commands that R recognizes that can run in line with notes about what we're doing. The power here of our markdown documents are that we can generate a report. We can capture the steps that we're doing for an analysis interwoven with the code that does the analysis itself. So you can see the code chunk where it's a grayed out section of our R markdown. We've got the code that goes in there. And then if we want to run that code chunk, all we need to do is click that little green play button in the corner. The result of that code chunk will then print out right below it. This is one of the most powerful parts of the R ecosystem is having the ability to run both the code interwoven between the text about what exactly you did. The text, remember, is not for someone else. It's for the future version of you to remind yourself what you did when you were thinking about that analysis.